everybody. In this video tutorial, I'm aiming this primarily at my web design students who have to take the validator test. What I'm going to do is tr I'm going to solve every error on here, but I will just focus on the types of errors. So on this video, I'm going to edit out multiple ones of the same occurrence. So the first thing we want to do is just I'm going to open this up in Notepad++ so I can begin working on it. One of the things I did on here is I opened it and I cloned it to the other view. So on the, on the left and right, I can see the same document. Okay, so that's the document. I'm going to select everything, copy it, and I'm going to open up the validator at validator.w3.org. And I'm going to do this by direct input. So I paste in. This is the, the one with all the errors. And at the beginning, it begins with 56 errors and 12 warnings. Our goal is to get it to zero errors and only two warnings. There are two warnings that we can ignore. And I'll explain that in just a moment. One of the things you will note on line 85, column 43, we end with a cannot recover after last error. So what that means is there's actually more errors that they're just hidden because the validator isn't seeing it. All right? This is just a way of just hitting all kinds of standard errors. So we're going to work on it one at a time. The first gu guideline I recommend you do is look at a line. I'm going to look at line 14. I want you to look at that, but I want you to go down a little bit and see if there are other ones addressing the same line. Okay? Many times, these are one and the same. One error triggers more than one. And first of all, it says element head is missing a required instance of child element title. What that's saying is the head is missing its child called the title. And, that's, and it caught it on line 14. So one main guideline is if there's an error on line 14, look at the context. What happened here is our header 1 came before the body was opened, and the body was opened before the head got closed. This violates a nesting rule. And if you look at the next line, 14, it says stray end tag HL. That's a different one. We'll look at that in just a moment. But hopefully you will remember that you close the body or you close the head before you open the body. So I'm going to just highlight this and I'm going to drag it up one line and I'm going to move body down. Number two, this header does not belong in the head. We need to put it in the body because it's an H1. This is a visible tag. Okay. What, I'm going to solve the changes here and I'm going to look at the next one before I go. Now, if you're using Notepad++, you may have your own set of color codes on here, but you really want a text editor that does coloring because right away I see this right here is a pink color and this is more of an orange color. There is a problem here. So first thing I want to do is look really closely. Am I really closing the header one or not? This, is that really a one? Well, let's like a look at the error again. It says tray tag and I'll look at this with this font. That's not the number one. That's the letter L. So I, I was a little tricky there, and I gave you the HL. Now, you might go, well, tch, I'm never going to have that error. Well, you say that, but I've seen people following my tutorials using HL instead of H1. So it's happened before. By the way, none of these errors are errors I just completely made up. They're all ones that I've seen other students and other people do before. All right. I'm going to go ahead and test this one out. Now, to test out the fix, I, I delete everything in here and I repaste after making my changes and I'm going to click revalidate. So I went from 56 errors down to 52 errors. And so that actually uh, was just a few things, but I solved four of those errors. And let's take a look at the next one. Um, here's another one. Element head is missing a required instance of child element title. We're still missing this element called title. And it's on line 15. And one of the things we'll note, there's the head tag, there's a meta, there's a style, there is no title. We need to add a title to the head. And my recommendation is you do it really close to the top. What was the title here? We'll use what was on the header one as our reference. Now, the head has a title inside of it. We've solved another error. Okay, we're going to look at the next error. I'm not going to just hit the validator every time. I'm pretty sure I solved it. We'll check in a moment. 
I want to look at the next one. Uh, sometimes you may see n tag whatever seen, but there were open elements. Uh, what's happening here? This has to do with nesting. Okay. So uh, if you look really closely at the line, the answer is right there. Uh, but ultimately, if we see this error, what we're saying is you opened a tag and you stuck a header three inside that other tag and it doesn't belong in there. So we go back to our code. And by the way, that was line 19. So the quickest way to go to line 19 in Notepad++ is Control G. And that's go to. I type 19. I'm there. And you'll see my image tag H2 and I closed it as an H3. Well, that was a mistake. So the context is in reality, I meant to close the header two, not, op uh, not close the header three. I'm going to save my changes there. And then um, I'm going to go ahead and test this one out. So don't forget you want to copy everything. So you select everything. That was, by the way, using select all. Then I right click, copy. And I went back here. And then I have to click in the window, do another select all, hit delete, right click, paste. Run it again. And now we're down to 50 errors. Two fewer errors are there. All right, now let's look at the next one. My next error is a very common one. Attribute, whatever, not allowed on element IMG at this point. Okay. What we're saying here is this is supposed to be an attribute, but it, you're not allowed to put that attribute on the image tag. And if you look a little bit further down, line 21 also says element image is missing required attribute SRC. So this attribute doesn't belong in there. And that's a misspelling, by the way. This one does belong there. And SRC is the proper way to do the source of the image. So we're going to replace the HERF with an SRC. However, we look a little bit further here. It says an image element must have an alt attribute, except under certain conditions. Now, what we need to do basically is we need to change the HERF to an SRC because it's SRC, and we need to add the alt attribute. So we're going to fix that right now. It's a pretty simple fix. Just remember SRC for image, and we have to add an alt. This is an attribute, so it goes inside the image tag. Alt equals picture of something. All right, so um, obviously one of the problems with this particular one is I picked an image that doesn't work, so I'm going to have to add that. Let me just do that real quick. By the way, here's the page now with the image. Uh, you saw earlier that there was there was a weird image there. It wasn't working, so I just replaced it with a new one. All right, so anyway, if you notice here, image must have an SRC and an alt, so we're going to go ahead and test it to make sure we fixed those errors. Upon revalidation, we now see that fixing those two errors, the SRC and the alt, actually got us 47 errors. So we've actually dropped three errors just by fixing two items. Let's look at the next one. All right, everybody, this is the big one. This is one that a lot of people were not sure what to do. All right. You may see this particular error here. What it says is element, marquee, not allowed as child of element body. So what we're saying is anything that's an element is a tag. In other words, it's the marquee tag. What we're saying is the marquee, you're not allowed to put it in the body, which means you're not allowed to use that tag at all. They've got rid of that tag, and they want to enforce it because the marquee tag, other than being an annoying tag, in my opinion, is one that uh, really is not about how it's displayed, but how it looks. And it was a vendor-specific tag that not all browsers used. And the same thing goes for um, Blink. And you'll notice it says suppressing further errors from this subtree. OK, so what that means is the subtree is the tag where it's found. And that's on line 26, column 9. So we go down to 26. Now, I have a word wrap on, so you won't see column nine, but you'll see there it is, blink tag, marquee tag. Basically, none of these are allowed. Marquee's not allowed, blink's not allowed, and if we go back here, font element is obsolete. All right, if we want to change the font, we do that with CSS. So all of th these two errors all relate to the same thing. So what my recommendation is, is that you do the following. 
Now, if you really like the idea of having that color, and it's totally optional, you can insert this with CSS. I'm going to take all of those and turn it into a P tag, in other words, a paragraph tag. I'm going to get rid of the font tag. And I'm going to go all the way down here, and I'm going to close the paragraph tag. Now, before I do that, let me just go back one step here. Notice how blink is uh, like purple. It's because it's this was one that was created, I think, by Netscape or uh, Internet Explorer. And that's not even, it doesn't even work on Chrome because it's not recognized. So all we have to do is just turn that whole thing into a paragraph. Also, don't forget to get rid of the font tag here. Uh, if Now, if you go back to the original page and we look at it, see there's that, there it is. It's, it's scrolling. That's what the marquee tag does. Um, also, notice there's a change in color here. If we want to preserve that and keep the color, we have an option we can do. We can actually put a uh, what's called a span tag. Span is acceptable. Oh, I forgot I had this on auto close. Just drag that over there. Span tag. So on the span tag, if you want to change the color, we can now target the span tag. Um, and we can even give it a class like highlight. And what this does is it allow us to target the highlight and we can change the color if we want. Now, on this assignment, I didn't give you any reason why you had to change it. But if you want to preserve that idea of changing what it looks like, you can do it that way. And you can make all span tags, turn it into the color you want, or do it by this class. Let's see how many errors we fixed by changing all of that. After changing it, we're down to 45 errors. I, I believe I saved my changes. Let's take a look at the page. And now we have it as a normal paragraph. Sure, it's not animated, but is that a bad thing? No. If you want to animate it, there are CSS3 animations you can use. Um, and so you might as well learn that if you're dying to get it to look annoying. I mean, sorry, to, to be an animated. That's just kidding. My own little dig there. All right, everybody. We still have a lot of errors, but we've come across a warning, which has to do with the border attribute. Um, any attribute that just styles it should be removed yet they're going to just put it as a warning so if you're in my class i say get rid of it we can do css instead for example watch this they even give you sample code so i'm going to copy that i'm going to go to my page i'm going to remove the border here delete see i'm going to go up to the style tag and I'm going to paste that in. Save my changes. Now watch what happens to the page when I do that. I still got all my borders, okay? But I got rid of that one warning. Okay, let's look at uh, one more in this particular session. We may run out of time, but um, we have three on line 33. N tag TD seed, but there were open elements. In other words, we closed the TD, but we didn't close a tag that needed to be closed. And then we see there's an unclosed element strong and another unclosed element strong. We forgot to close the strong. We ended up actually opening two strongs before we closed the TD. So it requires one slash, and that fixes three of the errors right there. All right, let's check. We had 45 errors before. When we revalidate, we are at 42. We solved three more errors. So I'm going to wrap things up for now, and in the next part, we'll just keep pick up where we left off. Talk to you later.